Nine Days for Life, Day 5, Monday, January 25th, 2021. Intercession. May each person suffering from the loss of a child through abortion find hope and healing in Christ. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thine kingdom come, thine will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thine womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thine womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thine womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Reflection After more than four decades of legalized abortion, many children's lives have been ended, and many parents and family members suffer that loss often in silence. Yet God's greatest desire is to forgive. No matter how far we have each strayed from his side, he says to us, don't be afraid. Draw close to my heart. Be assured that it is never too late to seek God's forgiveness and the sacrament of reconciliation. Consider the parable of the prodigal son. After repenting of sinning against his father, he returns from far away to seek forgiveness and work as a servant. But the father sees him approaching, runs to him warmingly embracing him, and hosts a banquet to celebrate his return. So too does God welcome all of his repentant children. No matter how serious the sin, let us turn confidently to our Lord, who is love and mercy. Let us pray. Father and maker of all, you adorn all creation with splendor and beauty and fashion human lives in our image and likeness. Awaken in every heart reverence for the work of your hands and renew among your people a readiness to nurture and sustain your precious gift of life. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.